Hi guys, it's the Power BI Guy here and welcome to the Beginners to Pro DAX series. In this lesson, we're going to cover how to work out a percentage breakdown of a single column. So for example, we have this column called Total Sales. If we wanted to see the total sales as a percentage breakdown against any, any filter that we put in or any column, for example, over here we have the product category and then we've created a percentage breakdown of the total sales. And we can change this column to whatever we want to and it will still give us a percentage breakdown of the total sales based on the column that we put in. So how do we go about actually creating this and what is the logic behind the DAX that we're writing? So we're going to be quite in depth in the logic behind the DAX because I want you to learn how DAX works and not just copy measures. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the lesson. So before we get started, let's actually understand how to work out a percentage because the logic is key. A percentage is worked out by a number divided by the total number times by 100. So let's say we have 10 products and we want, we've want we sold five. What is the percentage? We'll do five, the sold products, divided by the total number, which is a constant value, and times by 100, which equals 50%. Now, let's say we wanted to work out um, our, our percentage breakdown on a column, but then we're changing the X. In Power BI, we might put in different columns. So instead of five products, another row might be 10. So we need to essentially create two measures, well, two different measures that, um, that, that can, can have a total constant value and have a value that is changeable at all times. So let's take actually take a look at the DAX for our end result. You can see that we have one variable, total sales, which is using a sum, and another variable called total sales all, which is using a sum x, and in particular using all. So let's go ahead and start off with the sum first and see understand how this is working and the logic behind it. A sum essentially is doing a sum of a column that you've specified, but sum the sum doesn't have a filter context. So if we take a look at the total sales here, which is 8 billion, we've, we've calculated this using a sum, it doesn't have any filter context applied. Now if we put in a column, so let's say we bring in product category, immediately you can see that we have now given this a filter context. And no matter what we put in here, this total sales will adjust based on what we bring in. So let's bring in, let's say product sub subcategory, we can see that this has now split our data even further based on the subcategory filter context. So we have now actually figured out the X. So this X is whatever we bring in into the sum and that will adjust that number. Now let's take a look at sum X all. This differs because the all function here in the total sales column is telling Power BI that regardless of what the product category is, regardless of what the filter is, we want to see the total sales. All is removing all filter context. So as we can see here, audio is total sales is 154,000, 154, but is telling us the total sales is 8 billion. Now, that is due to us removing the filter context. So we've told, we've told Power BI that we want to do a total sales sum, so sum of the total sales, but regardless regardless of the filter context, because we used all, we want that to iterate through each row. And that's what sum x does. So as we can see, what's happened here is done the sum of the total sales column, which equals 8, 8 billion, which equals 8 billion. But due to this, the, the all, it has removed the filter context of whatever we bring in, and is bringing that in at a row by row level. So now we have calculated the total number that is a constant. So essentially now, the, the way this is going to work is we need to divide the x, which is the sum, by the total number. And as we're using sum, we can adjust the filter context and, and this value will always change. So this value, so let's remove the subcategory, that this value, no matter what we change this to, will divide by a constant total, a constant sum. So let's actually go ahead and put this into practice and see how this works. So right now we worked out the total sales, but let's do a percentage breakdown of let's say total cost. And let's actually write this measure and run through this. So I'm going to create a new measure and let's call this percentage breakdown total cost. Now, the first thing we want to do is we need to create the X. So we need to create the X value that's able to constantly change based on the filter. So let's write, let's write in 
variable and let's call this total cost so var and then we're going to write, give our variable name so let's call this total cost sum and then we're going to go in equals and this is a very simple sum we're going to do sum of the total cost now once again that has now created our x where it's going to have a sum that's, that has no filter context a total sales with no filter context that's a bit that's that's able to adjust based on what we bring in now we need to create another variable which is our constant total value so this is going to be we're going to call this total cost total total cost sum all and then once again equals and now we need to use the sum x function as we want that total constant value to be iterate through every single row as sum x is an iterator so we're going to do sum x and we need to now put in all as we want to tell power bi sum this value and regardless of whatever the filter context is we want that value the total sum in every single row so we need to put in all and then let's reference the table so the total set cost um, column is in our sales table if we close that and now we just need to do the sum of the column that we want to do so total cost total cost and that's our column and now if we close that we need to, to divide because we have now created our two x's we have created our first value which is the sum with no filter context and now we've created the total constant number so we can do our divide so we need to write return let's do a bracket and then let's put in divide as we're doing a divide we're going to do our total cost sum as this is our constant value total cost sum divided by the constant which is the total cost all total cost sum all and if we close that what we're going to find is that if we bring this into this column over here we now and then let's convert this to a percentage using the format we now can see the breakdown of the total cost as a percentage from a singular column now let's take a look at what happens because if we use our filters if we select our product category our values are going to not give us 100% total as we've ignored the filter context it's going to stay against that 800 uh, that 8, 8 billion that 8 number because we're telling it to re we've removed the filter context from the all from the sales table it's going to remain it's going to do a breakdown against that static 8 billion now let's say we wanted to have a dynamic filter so if we change this and selected let's say 2 we want it to do a split against the total of those two numbers. What we can do is instead of actually using all, we can use this function called all selected. What this is going to do is now be more dynamic with your totals. Let me enter that and let's take a look at this column over here. If I select cameras and camcorders, you can see now because of our selection, cameras and camcorders, our total value is no longer ignoring the filter context of the table it is using our selection so what was the, the total sales of cameras and camcorders alone what was the total cost of that and if we select another we have added another filter context so that we have said we've specified two values and we've summed that and now it is splitting that against our two values so that's how you do a more dynamic filter but once again if we just stay stick to all if we stick to all we now have a percentage breakdown of a single column regardless of your filter context so without further ado i hope that video help helps um essentially the logic is that some x and all all will give you a constant value and some gives you the value that you can slice your information with put them together in a divide and you have a percentage breakdown. It's the Power BI guy, and I hope this video helped.